okay so nanti saya akan upload dalam uh, youtube so that you can just refer so in case you need explanation and also in case you want to like refer back yeah i think previously we don't have this luxury uh, selalunya kita akan main kelas so apa yang ayah ajar kat kelas so you cannot like refer back Okay, so at least now we have some technology stuff. Uh, okay, so kita boleh buat blended learning. Okay, so blended learning is a face-to-face -face class. So together with some online materials for you to refer. Okay, so this semester I try to upload as much as possible uh, for your reference lah dalam YouTube channel. Okay, so we will start with chapter 2. I think chapter 1 we already covered. Okay, last week... Uh, Thursday Thursday kita cover first part and yes, and then I gave you one video and then yesterday we did discussion okay, uh, so selalunya discussion I tambah attendance so it's based on your own interest so, kalau you nak belajar you mind okay, so I never like force any of my student okay, it's because after if you cannot follow my lecture then you cannot answer my question because my question will be a bit tricky Uh, so, uh, memang I akan bagi input dekat uh, lecture lah. So, if not, uh, if I cannot trigger you, I cannot be a good lecturer. Betul kan? Uh, so, I need to trigger for you to think and solve the problem. Because pneumatic is purely on application. Okay, nanti dalam lab, I think next week, this week, kita tak sempat buat. Sebab uh, pelepasan typo storm kan? So, suppose this week we already start. Okay, tapi I dah bagi you all all the uh, software, software and the freeware, FluteSim. So, apa-apa circuit yang ada dekat uh, lecture note, you can already start design. So, design, try to find your way lah. Okay, before I teach in the lab. Okay, for lab next week, we will start on Wednesday morning. Okay, I think the first first or second group. Uh, and follow the timetable lah dalam portal. Okay, so uh, we will divide this class into three. Okay, so normally we'll have like 40 people in one group. Uh, so, saya akan ajar uh, first, first week of the lab, uh, lab class. So, we will learn how to operate the software, everything lah. Okay, uh, akan dibantu oleh Puan Usna. Okay, so dia akan tolong. Then, at the same time, we will also uh, try to do the hardware. Sebab so, dekat lab, kita ada mechatronic uh, kit for us to try all the valve so everything lah. So, you akan, untuk subjek ni, you akan dapat uh, hardware side and as well as software side. Okay. So, selalunya kita akan design dalam software. So, we try an error. So, once we already find out everything like working properly, then we will enter uh, to the physical. If not, Even in the company, you will uh, simulate first. Uh, kita buat dalam design and dalam software. If already okay, then only we will uh, move to the hardware. We will do the purchasing. Okay, similarly, we try to expose you. Okay. So, today we will enter to chapter 2. So, pneumatic valve. Okay, valve tu apa? Dalam bahasa Melayu. Injap. Okay, so apa-apa yang... Uh, so, dia ada function lah. So, pneumatic valve ni. Okay, so we will move to. Okay, so we will move Okay, okay, so pneumatic component classification. I think uh, you are familiar with this this uh, diagram. Okay, this uh, ni kita panggil as a pneumatic circuit. Okay, pneumatic circuit. Uh, so dia akan start dari bawah. Okay. So, kita akan start dari bawah. Selalunya kita akan design dari supply element up to power element. So, so in between kita ada tiga lagi. Okay, input element, processing element and also control element. So, all this element, it has its own purpose. So, uh, so it has its own purpose. Okay, so today we will see pneumatic valve. So, pneumatic valve covering these three. So, input element, processing element and also control element, it has... Uh, you need to use the valve Okay, you need to use the valve Okay, so kita panggil as control valve Okay, so pneumatic control valve So boleh baca sikit 
Okay, so valve are defined as device to control or regulate the commencement, uh, term, termination and direction and also the pressure or rate of flow of a fluid under pressure which is delivered by a compressor or is stored in a vessel or uh, we call it as a receiver tank. Okay, apa your old farm? Oh, nak panggil nama lah. Oh, tak adalah. Okay. So, valve is actually, uh, kita gunakan untuk, uh, okay, so before I uh, explain yang ni, so dalam pneumatic uh, circuit, ataupun pneumatic design, apa the power source? Apa yang kita akan gunakan untuk power the whole thing? Uh, macam dekat bilik ni, electrical power kan? So, dalam pneumatic, kita gunakan apa? So, kita gunakan udara, compressed air. Okay, kalau udara tu, udara yang ada kat keliling kan? So, udara yang dimampat. Okay, so it's a compressed air. So, compress, when you compress the air, so it will turn to become a potential energy which can be used to power your pneumatic system. Okay, so that's the main thing lah. Okay, so when you already have a power, you already compress the air, so you already save it in your receiver tank. Then once you already compress it and you already store, you can channel dia betul-betul. Ke mana you nak hantar? Okay, macam elektrik ni. So, normally we will send to the power station. The power station will try to reduce it. Then it will send to the uh, your house lah. Okay, so normally uh, how many volt uh, the electricity is generated? Selalunya kat luar. Berapa? Berapa volt? Okay, So normally, kalau you boleh tengok dekat uh, the power station, under 32 uh, kilowatt, kilowatt, okay, or megawatt. So what will happen if uh, you use under 32 uh, kilowatt to power your laptop? Meletup. So what do you need to do? Uh, you need to step down, you need to reduce until 240 so then only you plug in your laptop. If not, every week, every day, you need to buy new laptop. Betul kan? So similarly, pneumatic system also, you already compress air. So you don't know how much pressure, how much uh, power yang ada dekat dalam tu. Okay, so you need to use a control valve uh, in order to control or regulate the, the compressed air pressure uh, before you supply to your pneumatic system. Okay, so that's the function of pneumatic valve. So, itu yang dia explain dekat sini lah. Okay, so to control or regulate the commencement. Atau to start, terminate. Terminate maksudnya you stop uh, a valve or operation at, or you redirect. Dari satu valve, you supply to another valve. Okay, uh, so uh, you you want to regulate the pressure and the flow rate. Okay, the flow rate. So, berapa cepat. So, if you supply a little bit of compressed air, apa akan berlaku? Siapa boleh boleh bagi answer? So, if you supply very little, so your actuator or your cylinder will extend slowly. Ha, sebab dia, dia, you bagi sikit kan? So, dia extend slowly. So, kalau you bagi more, it will extend faster. Okay, it depends on your application. So depends on your application, you control your uh, your pneumatic circuit lah. Okay, so that's the use of control valve. The form of control energy will be dictated by the valve's mode of actuation and may be manual, mechanical, electrical, hydraulic or pneumatic. Uh, yang ni macam mana you nak control? Okay, so nanti kita akan tengok what is manual, what is mechanical. Uh, so dia ada banyak mode. So, you can uh, control the valve manually or mechanically or electrically. So, ada banyak cara lah. Okay. So, valve available for pneumatic control can be classified according to their function. Okay. So, ada banyak type. Ada enam type. Enam type of valve. Okay. All the valve have a different function. So, if you want to direct the pneumatic compressed air, so you need to use directional control valve. So, if you want uh, it to do a specific function, you need to use non-return valve ataupun flow control valve. Dia ikut nama dia lah. So, flow control means it will control the flow. 
Okay, if directional means it will direct your compressor. So macam tu. So ada enam. So pressure control valve, shut off valve and combination. And combination maksudnya two or three valve combined together. Okay, so far so good. Boleh follow? Okay. So directional control valve ataupun short form kita panggil as DCV. Okay, nanti dalam exam pun I tulis DCV so you kena tahu lah. Jangan uh, tambahin kelas dan tiba-tiba apa ni DCV kan. Uh, so DCV meaning directional control valve. Okay, so the function of directional control valve is to control the direction of flow in pneumatic circuit. Uh, macam I bagi tahu tadi, to control the direction. Okay, ke mana you nak channel. Okay, so ke mana you nak channel. So DCVs are used to start, stop uh, and regulate the direction of air flow and help in the distribution of air. So you nak distribute. Okay, macam dari macam tadi electrical. So uh, we are channeling from the power station. We step down. We are sending to each house. Uh, so tengah-tengah tu the the transmission ataupun distribution is uh, uh, is uh, used to control. Okay, so uh, sama lah. So always uh, try to imagine uh, pneumatic compared with electrical. So electrical kita dah biasa tengok. Kita dari kecil kita tengok kan. Okay, so we already have electricity since we you are born. So you already familiar with uh, the analogy. Okay, so similar that, uh, for pneumatic you try to compare with electrical. Okay, whatever power that is created must be controlled and also channel okay so directional control valve okay there are commonly two position of uh, directional control valve okay normal position and also initial position okay uh, maybe you you ada tanya lah kan apa ni kota-kota ni kan so dalam dalam simbol okay, kalau you tengok dekat the next slide tengok ada banyak kota-kota apa apa benda macam mana nak interpret okay i will teach you one by one Okay. Okay. So, so kalau you tengok dekat sini, uh, this this selalunya akan ada, uh, okay, selalunya akan ada dua kotak minimum. So, for your level, maximum, you will have three. So, you can have three. So, minimum this, maximum this. Yang ni tak ada, eh? Satu tak ada. Okay. So, yang ni tak ada lah. Okay. So, normally, you will have uh, two or three. Okay. So, dia ada dua pun. Okay. Du That's Okay, dia ada dua position. Okay, one is normal. Okay, jangan confuse dengan nama. Okay, initial selalunya starting kan. Tapi dalam pneumatic, so normal is starting. Okay, initial is alternative. Okay, dia ada dua. Okay, so normal position... Okay, so you boleh baca dekat sini. It's non-operated. So, meaning you don't supply power, it will be in this condition. If you supply power or you actuate it, dia akan tukar. Okay, nanti kita akan tengok macam uh, arrow tu apa. Okay, now you need to understand uh, the position. So, it has normal position and initial position. Okay, so dalam exam, memang selalu keluar soalan ni. So, compare... Normal position and initial position. So, you need to know how to explain. Okay, so just look at macam ni. So, this is normal position and this is initial position. Okay, normal meaning. Okay, so normal meaning unactuated. So, meaning no power and initial meaning actuated or having power. Okay, that's the two things lah. Okay, so uh, 
uh, you boleh tengok dekat you boleh baca lah so i think uh, i don't want to like go through so yang ni untuk dua dua position two positions okay so how about three position okay so which one is uh, normal for your opinion yang ni yang ni yang ni siapa siapa okey nak panggil nama lah Charles Matthew tak apa try je bukan ha huh? so just just guess which one will be ada tiga ha huh? middle one okey so betul so normal is middle Okay, so this is unactuated, meaning no power, it will be in the middle. So, yang ni apa? So, initial one, initial two, so actuated. Okay, so meaning, yang ni dia special sikit. So, what? The middle is unactuated. So, betul lah kawan you beritahu. So, meaning, when there is no power, it will be in the middle position. And when you give input to activate this, so initial one will be activated. So, kalau you will on yang ni, yang ni dia akan tukar. So, either one. Dia tak boleh ada dua-dua at the same time. So, you only must have one. Okay, so selalunya, Your circuit will have uh, two or three. Maximum lah. Empat tak ada. So far, I pun tak pernah tengok. Dekat industri pun tak pernah tengok lah. So if you want four, you normally you will combine two balls. Okay, yang ni activate dulu. Yang ni dia akan activate another one. Okay, so normally it will be like that lah. Okay. So, uh, I think I already cover this. Okay, so you boleh tengok dekat sini. Okay, so this is the naming lah, naming of your uh, directional control valve. Okay, so normal position. Uh, so kalau close, close in pneumatic. Okay, the, uh, these are some of the terms lah. Okay. Close. Okay, close is having power or no? No power. So, unactuated. Kita akan gunakan uh, term unactuated. So, actuated. Okay, so throughout your 14 weeks, you can remember this. Okay, because uh, at times I won't use the word unactuated. I will check up close ataupun open. So you need to know lah. Okay, okay. So you guys ini you think of. Uh, so there are some naming. So, apa benda ni? 2 slash 2 WV. So, if your full name. Kat belakang boleh tengok. Eh? Can see? Okay, so this is actually short form for two port, two position. Tadi kita dah tengok two position. 
If how you want to identify two position or three position, apa yang you kena tengok? So you tengok how many kota, so how many boxes are there? So if two kota meaning two position. Okay, what is these two pots? So sorry, pots. Huh? Plural. Okay, two pots mean. Okay, so two position you already know. You have the two kota. Two pot mean. So you have two here. Sorry. Maksudnya, you have the two tempat untuk buat connection. Okay, so you can see here lah. Okay. Oh. Sorry, I think my pointer is not working. It's okay. Tapi you boleh tengok dekat sini. Uh -huh. So I will use here. Okay. So 2 over 2 V valve. So you have the dua kota. 2 position. And you have 2 port. A and P. Okay. So that's how you interpret. Okay. So hari ni kita nak just nak belajar symbols lah. Okay. Symbols how you can interpret. Okay. So subject ni actually quite easy. Nak score sebab so application kan. Eh? So, just you need to understand lah uh, how the thing works. Okay, so kita tengok 2 over 2 we wall. 3 over 2. You tengok. Macam mana dia punya construction. Dia ada berapa kotak? Dua kotak. Sebab 2. Either you can know from the name. Ataupun you tengok symbol dia, you boleh understand. You boleh interpret. So, ada dua kotak, ada berapa port? Tiga port. Okay, so 3 over 2 we wall. We wall maksudnya... Uh, injak yang ada tiga tiga cabang lah ataupun tiga jalan V kan ok so C ya 4 slash 2 berapa kotak so, so dua position port 4 ok so 4 port A, B, P and T selalunya we will use number or we will use alphabet untuk nama the port lah so that you know uh, from where so P is pressure ataupun power so it will start so jangan uh, lukis terbalik so, so normally from a power upstream to look downstream ok dari tempat yang tinggi ke rendah air akan mengalir so pneumatic also the same ok so 5 over 2 uh, selalunya maximum ada sampai 5 lah 5 pot so we don't have a 6 pot so minimum 2 maximum 5 for port uh, untuk position minimum 2 maximum 3 ok so you boleh tengok lah the, the, the other symbols so 4 slash 3 uh, you boleh tengok ada 3 kotak so tengah-tengah tu normally normally close ok so port A, B, P and T ok so yang ni pun sama yang ni uh, some special arrangement lah yang tengah ni Tengok dia nampak macam muka kan. Ok. So, uh, dia ada some special arrangement. Ok. Ok. So, dalam exam, dalam test. So, selalunya saya akan bagi satu simbol. Ask you to name. Ataupun saya bagi satu nama, suruh you lukis simbol. Macam tu je subjek ni. I think uh, quite, quite straightforward. Ok. So, you need to know. So far, boleh follow? Ada soalan? Okay. So, I campur lah. BM and English. Okay. So, normally my videos will be in English. Okay. So, just for your understanding. So, I try to explain. Okay. Lecture note also in English. Okay. So far, boleh follow? Okay. So, we'll move to the next slide. Okay. So, types of direction control valve. Okay. So, how you can name your symbols, how you can name your valve. Okay, so based on number of port. So, number of port is uh, 2-way, 3-way, 4-way, 5-way. Okay, 5. So, number of ports, uh, that's what we call as ways. Berapa banyak uh, place for you to make connection. Okay, so kalau 2-way, you have the dual port. Ok, so kalau 3 way ada 3 port Ok, 4 way is 4 port 5 way is 5 port Ok, so maximum uh, minimum 2, maximum 5 Ok, and num based on number of position 2 position or 3 position 
okay so i already explained this based on method of actuation of valve and return actuation okay so you have five types okay five types actually ada enam ada hydraulic juga tapi for now we only study on pneumatic okay because the subject we will start with pneumatic ada dalam uh, i think four chapters then one chapter on electropneumatic uh, okay sorry uh, actually the five subject uh, five chapters on pneumatic uh, then uh, one chapter on electropneumatic then another four chapters on uh, hydraulics okay but when you study hydraulic the same thing will come again cuma symbol dia so you hanya belajar sekali so you understand the pneumatic fully uh, nanti hydraulic tu actually the same just ada sedikit perbezaan uh, so so just try to focus fully on for pneumatic so try to understand fully okay so electro pneumatic you campur uh, pneumatic with electric, electrical so input you bagi dari electric then you actuate your pneumatic circuit Okay, so actually ada banyak lagi ada hydropneumatic ada aeropneumatic aeropneumatic tak adalah sebab dua-dua pun angin kan saja je ai bagi nama kan <laughs> so uh, so you have you can combine a lot of things okay okay so method of actuation meaning how you want to start okay so you are the valve so you already have a valve how you want to start macam mana you nak tukar position how you want to control sebab kalau you ada the valve valve selalunya it can help you to direct okay so you ada dua position ada normal and also initial position how you want to switch uh, you kena bagi satu input uh, so input tu you can give it manually macam mana you boleh bagi manual input macam mana uh, manual input meaning you bagi input macam mana you nak bagi input okay you gunakan push button Okay, you gunakan your own effort. You tekan button, uh, so it will tukar. So that is manual. Ataupun you gunakan foot pedal. Okay, dalam kereta kan. So you gunakan foot pedal, okay, kereta you pergi laju. Meaning you are giving input. So that is manual input. Okay, so mechanical. Okay, so mechanical can be uh, based on spring. Okay, spring mechanical kan. So dia, you tekan, dia dia masuk then release tu by spring automatic so you tak perlu gunakan your own effort so can also okay electrical can be electrical power so you go use an electrical switch you bagi input so dia akan tukar okay so pneumatic gunakan uh, another valve macam saya bagi tahu tadi so you tak ada empat position you gunakan one valve to control another valve so pneumatic Okay, so combination, you can have a combination lah of uh, all the other things. Okay, hydraulic pun sama. Okay, so based on construction. Okay, so yang ni construction of the valve. Okay, yang ni kita tak tengok lagi. So, kita ada another slide. Okay, macam mana construction of the valve. In, the inside mechanism. Okay, so how it function. So, normally kita ada proper uh, seat valve or we will have sliding valve. Okay, so I think this one you need to see for you to understand. Okay, so but these are the type of directional control valve. Okay, the things that involve uh, with directional control valve. Okay, so we will see one by one. So, kita akan tengok dulu based on number of port. Okay, so this I already explained. Okay, uh, so ports, so you already know. Okay, so this is, so... Jangan tengok, jangan ambil for the whole thing. Jangan cakap, oh, yang ni ada empat port. Jangan, eh, silap. You just ambil one kota, you see how many port. Okay, because it's actually duplicate. Okay, so jangan cakap yang ni ada empat port. Ha, nanti tak dapat markah. Okay, so I, to, I potong markah lagi. Okay, bukan you tak dapat markah, I potong markah lagi. Okay, so yang ni ada dua port. Okay, so at maximum I boleh ada lima. Okay, so based on number of port, the number of port in a directional control valve is identified by the term wave. Okay, so that's what we say waves. Okay, sebab kita memang ambil dari bahasa Inggeris. 
okay thus for example a valve with four ports is a four way valve okay four way valve okay so there are two types of um, port uh, port marking ataupun uh, port identification okay first one we use ISO 5599 apa tu ISO siapa tahu apa ni nama ke ni uh, cuak dah tak ada lah saja je ok so ISO meaning international standard organization uh, ataupun dia adalah standard yang digunakan so the standard use worldwide ok you have uh, so many standards ok all the countries will have their own standards ok standards to do experiment ok standard to do measurement ok even Malaysia we have Malaysian standard Okay, so ISO is something that used worldwide. Okay, so ISO actually is not only on the measurement or experiment. So it can be in other any stuff, even for management. So that's why we have uh, organization uh, certified as ISO 9001. Uh, can, ada kan? You just setting up. Okay, so this is based on international standard organization uh, standard. Okay, 5599. So, if you go to internet, I don't know whether they allow you to download the document. So, if you download the ISO 5599 document, so inside there, they say, okay, for pneumatic, this part, you need to name like this, using numbers. Okay, so based on ISO 5599, you must use numbers. You cannot use alphabet. Okay, number one, selalunya pressure port or the power port. Okay, dalam lettering system, yang ni actually is a conflict between US and Europe. Okay, kalau US nak gunakan number, Europe nak gunakan alphabet. Dia tak nak, dia tak nak follow. Uh, rebellious lah. Okay, ego, ego kan. <laughs> so, Malaysia kita follow je mana-mana. Janji boleh boleh settle kan. Uh, so, this actually is a conflict between major nations uh, normally with Europe and also US this is lalu tangam ok so we we dua dua pun we don't want to follow we follow Japan uh, so normally like that lah uh, but in this pneumatic we normally will follow lettering system or at times we will follow also ISO system tengok mana ada tempat so kalau ada banyak tempat we use letter Kalau tak ada tempat, you use a number. Uh, so, uh, Malaysian engineers are, are where, uh, how to say, can add up mana-mana. Boleh kerja dekat US, boleh kerja dekat UK. Can. Okay, so pressure port, we normally, we will follow uh, number one. And for lettering system, we will follow letter P. Okay, P for pressure or power. Okay, so for exhaust, exhaust meaning... Uh, where you because normally you are using compressed air uh, compressed air you won't channel back to the compressor so once you release the compressor from point 1 to point 2 or to the valve uh, the the air must be channeled so channel properly so kalau you nak keluarkan uh, the compressed air you just go channel it to the exhaust exhaust port so exhaust port it will release to the air. Okay, so, so uh, you will be thinking like next week, next week or the week after, uh, when you go to the lab, you will be thinking oh, they, they actually pneumatic ni dia akan ada banyak bunyi, uh, because you are using uh, compressed air. Okay, so you left exhaust port. So exhaust port, uh, it's okay. I will show in the coming slides. Okay, so kita akan tulis R. Okay, so ada juga untuk uh, 5 or 5 port we will use R and S uh, tapi selalu kita akan gunakan numbering lah so numbering only uh, untuk lettering we will use P uh, A, B and also K, S pun kita tak ta guna sangat ok uh, so you always for numbering you will use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, 12 and 14 is uh, for pneumatic actuated. Okay, kalau you gunakan other valve to control. 
so kita akan letak 12 and 14 I, one side 12 one side 14 ok so yang ni based on number of port ok so number of position ok so the position in a directional control valve determines the number of alternative flow condition the valve can provide so meaning you are the dual option ok for two position meaning you have two position uh, two option so you can either uh, use this or this you boleh tukar so kalau tiga uh, tapi selalunya uh, two position valve will be cheaper three position valve since it has more option uh, it will be slightly expensive ok so nanti dalam industri uh, you you decide so kalau company you nak you solve problem but they only give you a limited budget you buy two uh, two position valve you combine tapi dia jadi messy lah dia dia jadi macam besar the circuit uh, so it depends ok so the number of switching position in the valve are known by the number of squares okay, tengok number uh, number kotak ok so two position provide two different flow condition open and close passage ok so boleh tengok dekat sini uh, so yang ni ada connection ke tak kotak ni So this this box no connection sebab so, no arrow so normally when you have arrow you left connection so when you have like this t huruf t kan dalam tu uh, meaning no connection so meaning that is unactuated okay so use the term unactuated okay so kalau you tengok dekat sini uh, you kena tengok lah dia dia selalunya once you draw this, you can letak numbering ataupun the letter for you to know what what port to what port. Nah, kalau ada tiga tu, you kena kena tahu lah. Okay, so three position also the same. So middle will be normal position, initial one and initial two. Okay. Ah, so there are special condition. Nah, ini yang saya bagi tahu tadi kan dia macam ah, ini macam muka ada mata dengan mulut kan so this we call it as tandem ok tandem so this is open uh, meaning always will have connection uh, when unactuated then you actuate it will stop uh, yang ni normally close uh, they are the float and also regenerative ok yang ni other types of special case ok special case so kalau you ada macam ni, you want to name the symbol, you can always use that. Okay, maybe 2 over 2, ataupun 3 over uh, 3, over three uh, uh, tandem, tandem, uh, dia boleh nama lah macam tu. Dia boleh gunakan uh, uh, perkataan, perkataan uh, apa, the, the calling for this. You will see lah later. Okay, so this is 4-way valve. And this is 5-way valve, ada 5 port. Okay, so kalau dia tak, dia tak bagi uh, macam arrow dekat atas ni. I mean, sorry, not uh, arrow, the line. Okay, for the port. But they only show like this. So, you need to know that each arrow must start from one port to another port. So, maksudnya, uh, arrow yang pertama ni, it has two port. So, from on top going to down then uh, this one no connection the tengah-tengah and you have another arrow uh, so meaning you know this is 5 port ok so I tak perlu lukis uh, line ni untuk semua kadang-kadang tak lukis pun but you know must know how to interpret ok um, ok so apa lagi yang ni ok so I think that's all um Okay, boleh tengok lah dekat sini. I think mostly is a repeating. Okay, repeating. Okay, so boleh tengok dekat sini. Dia letak uh, 2 or A. 1 or P. So, it's based on ISO 5599 or lettering system. You tak perlu letak dua-dua. You just use either one. Okay, as long you can uh, understand. Okay, A or P.
Okay. Okay. So symbols and functions of DCV. Okay. So we have uh, all the valve. It has uh, its own purpose. Okay. So we will think on uh, some of the purpose. So two over two DCV is the basic. Yang yang very basic. So you do two more the dual port, and it has a two position. Uh, so normally you use it to drive air motor and pneumatic equipment. Okay, so setiap so, so valve, before you use, you must know you want to use for which application. Uh, is it uh, required more ports? Is it required more position? Uh, so based on that, you choose your valve. Jangan macam buta-buta, just choose something yang ada dekat-dekat, just nak guna kan? Uh, so no. So you, you as an engineer, so we are training you to become an engineer. You must know the reasoning why you are using. Okay, then once you use, then uh, once you select, you must. Uh, nanti uh, your company akan tanya. Nanti waktu you pergi ke company kan, you you want to work. So your boss will ask why you use this three over two valve. Why not five over two or five over three? Uh, so you must know how to give reason. So these are the functions that you can give. Uh, so you say, okay, I just want to drive a single acting cylinder. So I don't need two over two. I need three over two DCV, normally open. So N slash O meaning normally open. N slash C meaning uh, normally close. Ataupun kita selalu tulis N O or N C. We will we will know. Uh, so you as an engineer. Uh, so engineer, the engineer actually a profession yang paling menyedihkan lah dekat company. Ah, uh, so you work so hard, you take all the responsibility, then at the end, semua akan salahkan you. Uh, bayar pun sikit, <laughs> uh, tapi you can solve a lot of problem lah. Okay, so engineers. We are problem solvers. Okay. So, kalau semua okay, management akan ambil nama. Kalau something happen, oh, engineer's fault. Ah, So, building collapse, civil engineer's fault. Ah, Kalau building cantik, architect, oh, design cantik. Okay. So, itulah nasib kita. But, but it's okay. As long we contribute to the community, we solve the problem. Okay. So, uh, so to cut the story short, so you need to know before you decide. Okay, whatever component that you want to decide to use, you must know the reason why you are using it. Okay, so yani I had a bagi sedikit function lah. I'm not going through it. So I think you boleh boleh go through lah. Ah, uh, you boleh baca sikit. So why you need to use? Okay, so ada ada banyak lah dekat sini macam uh, I ni tengok five over three DCV close center, so center is close, so you have two initial positions, initial one and initial two, so it's actually the function is to control the double acting cylinder drive with the ability to stop the cylinder in any position to prevent air in the cylinder from the exit. Uh, so you boleh tahu lah. Uh, so dia ni digunakan untuk control double acting cylinder. So double acting cylinder maybe you don't know yet. Uh, we will study in the next chapter, chapter 3. Uh, pneumatic actuators. So actuators meaning the final final uh, things that will do work for you. Uh, dalam tu you akan belajar single acting cylinder, double acting cylinders. So what are the differences? Uh, okay. So... Maybe for now, you just need to know lah. Uh, all the directional control valve has its own purpose. And you need to know before you choose it. Okay, so boleh tengok dekat sini some of the example of a, a directional control valve. Okay, so 2 over 2 directional control valve. Uh, tengok. Uh, ini adalah input. Okay, the small triangle ke bawah ni. Okay. Maybe I look at the casini again. Okay, so you have here. So meaning, yani, uh, normally open or normally close? 
So normally close, kan? So this is unactuated, meaning you tak bagi apa apa power, it will be in this condition. Uh, so you bagi power di baru dia tukar ke kiri, uh, not the other way round. Eh? So we always encourage for you to start from uh, right. Uh, so so ada ada yang lukis macam ni dekat company. Ah, uh, pening. <laughs> so macam mana you nak tahu kan? So better to draw like this. So standard practice. So we don't encourage later in your exam, in your lab, don't look it like this. I terus potong maka. Ah, because this is not a good practice. Okay, so always uh, draw like this. So this is uh, your normal condition. This is your unactuated, uh, your initial condition. Okay. So di sini you tengok. You ada macam ni triangle. So triangle you tengok the bucu. Okay, so if it's go in 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 the wall, so meaning you are giving power. Okay, so then you ada satu lagi macam ni. So this is your exhaust. So this is your power. So this is your E or exhaust. Jadi memang kena ada connection. Every valve must be connected. You tak buat uh, simbol ni, you lupa nak letak, I will minus mark. Okay, so pneumatic is a unique subject lah. Sebab kalau soalan tu 20 maka, I bagi you dulu 20 maka. Then I will minus one by one. Setiap mistake yang you buat. You tak letak ni, I minus one mark. You tak letak ni, I minus one mark. So imagine a circuit will have how many valve. So last, uh, jadi negatif. So your marks. So instead of I give you 20 marks, I minus lagi 15. Uh, janganlah macam tu. Okay. So the more complicated you do, uh, the circuit, you will involve a lot of things. So you as an engineer, you must be careful. So kalau you look at one, one, one wall, you finish the wall first. Jangan you look at sini sikit, look at sana sikit. Uh, so we are not, you cannot effort to make mistake in our design. Macam saya beritahu tadi lah. So any result uh, fault, uh, engineer. You lah. Okay. So walaupun you are still diploma level, I think you will continue for your degree, then you will become an engineer. Sekarang pun, you graduate, you akan jadi assistant engineer. So, kita terpanggil as technician. Uh, so, I always call my students as assistant engineers for, for diploma lah. Okay. So, you already there. Already aiding there. So, learn not to do mistake. Okay, in your design. Okay, so you ada yang ni, you ada yang ni. Selalu kena pakai. The, nanti untuk yang ni untuk pneumatik kalau warna putih ni dia pneumatik uh, dalam hydraulic yang ni okay. so this is your pressure uh, sorry So this is your exhaust, kan? Untuk hydraulic, So, itu je perbezaan. Tapi, you akan belajar balik semua benda ni. Okay? But, not much different. Just the symbol. Untuk pneumatic, you gunakan yang ni sebagai pressure. So, this is an exhaust. Untuk hydraulic, you just hitamkan dia. So, based on the symbol, you know, you are referring to hydraulic. Uh, this one, you are referring to pneumatic. Okay? Yang ni, dia tank lah. Sebab, hydraulic, uh, it's not using compressed air. It's using oil. Uh, so, oil, you tak boleh lepas ke udara. Ataupun lepas ke luar. Nanti, you jatuh. Kan? Tergelincir. Uh, so, you need to channel back. So, hydraulic is a bit complicated. Uh, because you need to, if it's exposed, 
uh, fire can happen. Uh, a lot of thing. Nanti salahkan you juga. Kan? Fire happen ke, letup ke apa, engineer salah. Uh, so, you need to channel back. Uh, so, that's the difference lah. Okay, so, so, if you are wondering what this triangle means, it's actually meaning pressure. Okay, so pressure port. Uh, you boleh tengok macam mana uh, the wall function. Okay, so from a normal position to an initial position. So, this is actually uh, direct, uh, directing the com compressed air. Kita boleh tengok lah. Mengayati. So, try to understand how the thing works. Ya, ni baru 3, 3 slash 2. 3 port, 2 position. You can see how it fun Nanti dalam your fluid stream, you can have the similar thing. You boleh tengok dia bergerak when you run it. Okay. Okay, take 5. Rest dulu. Nanti overload. Okay, saya continue panggil nama. Okay, attendance lah. Bukan, bukan untuk pop twist. Okay. Ali Arif. Uh, Alif Hamsha. Alif Daniel. Dah panggil lah tadi. Tak ada lagi kan. Alif Afizu. Alif Zikri. Alif Sata tak ada Amirul Shukri Amar Aziz Aufa Akim Fami Idam Muhammad Faiz 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 sorry sorry Muhammad Faiz Aikal Muhammad Fawaz Muhammad Fitri Muhammad Fitri Ilmi Muhammad Aikal Aikal sorry Muhammad Aikal bin Muhammad Astri Muhammad Aris Okey Muhammad Hasan Al Basri Ada Muhammad Atim Uzaini Muhammad Ehsan Okey Muhammad Ikwan Akim Muhammad Iman Nafis Muhammad Imran Muhammad Irfan Izani Muhammad Karim Siddiq Muhammad Khairul Amar Muhammad Muas Muhammad Najwan Muhammad Nakir Muhammad Razif Muhammad Shafwan Muhammad Shafiq Muhammad Syairul Mama Syamil Mama Ulul Azmi Wafiq Azik Zamir Rafiq Zul Fakar Zul Khairil Hafiz Daniel Hafiz Daniel 
Nabil Aiman Nur Atika Liana Nur Shakila Nur Afika Nur Ain Kastrina Nur Alia Nur Azmina Nur Fatia Ada Nur Masara Nur Liliana Putra Nura Deri Syed Mama Alif Safia Diana Syarul Khairi Sofia Anis Safirul Ikma Syarul Nizam Tuwila Sri Waiz Fitri Wan Abdul Mustaqim Wan Nur Ashraf Zikri Aikal Ada yang nama tak panggil? Ada nama? Ya? Yeah? Nama apa? Arif Selalunya nama sebelum siapa? Arvin Ada nama dalam sistem Ha, tolong cek sebab, sebab memang Dekat sini Abdul Muaymin ada Ah Covid I think nama lain macam Datik dah Yang lain macam Adi Cuba cek Cek dengan RPS ah, Sebab I baru print pagi tadi ah, So takut nanti <laughs> Kena drop pula Kan Eh, ini dah lebih lima minit ni. Okay, so we continue lah. Because we only have 45 minutes. Okay, so my class feel free. So, kalau nak bawa makanan, nak makan pun tak apa. So, I don't mind. Uh, so, sebab if you are not relaxed, you won't learn. Okay, so just feel free lah. Ask question or what. Interrupt me in the question, uh, in the class. Just ask question. Okay, so it's okay. I uh, maybe wait two more minutes. Okay, so far there's one. So any question so far? So I go as slow as possible lah for you to like understand. Uh. Okay, so you can see the other valve. This is 5 over 2 valve. So you can see how the 5 over 2 valve function. So you can get uh, some understanding. Lah. Okay, so from normal position is uh, switching to initial position. Okay, so please don't get confused. Because initial normally macam start kan. Uh, but it's actually a pneumatic. Normal is starting. Initial is uh, the, the other option. Okay. So other option. So you can see the, here 5 over 2. 5 port 2 position valve. Okay. So you can see number uh, follow the numbers lah. Okay. Okay. So here you can see the flow. So when the spool, uh, yang yang warna hijau ni adalah spool. Okay, when the spool move right and left based on the actuator, uh, so you can see some of the block, uh, some of the part is blocked. Uh, okay, because it's uh, full, dia tak ada ruang lah. Okay, for the compressor to move. Uh, so when uh, when 
So uh, if you see the spool, it has uh, two parts. Satu part yang full, satu lagi is like uh, neck. Okay, we call it as valley. Okay, so valley. Uh, so the valley is the place where uh, give you the space for the compressor to move. So when it move right and left, it's actually blocking one part and allowing another part to activate. Okay, so you can see here lah, based on this. Okay, if you want to see more example, you can uh, refer to YouTube. So, dalam YouTube ada banyak video simulation. Okay, simulation. And I always encourage my student to try your own fluid sim. Okay, when you simulate in the fluid sim, you also can see the similar thing. It's moving. Okay, from one side to another side. Okay, so this is uh, B. Okay, so we move to C. Uh, so, based on the method of actuation. Uh, ini yang kita tengok tadi. Okay, so there are various type of you changing position. Okay, from one position to another position. Okay, so we see the manual. Okay, so manual. So manual is actually powered by operator. Who is the operator? Walaupun saya panggil you assistant engineer, according to this, you still operator. Uh, operator bukan dekat company lah Okay, so operator meaning someone who operate the circuit Okay, so operator by pressing the buttons provided Okay, so this is a symbol for generally operated So meaning it's not specific So you can uh, you can just uh, press anything So press the button or press the uh, Maybe you have uh, some panels So now we have touch screen uh, So touch screen you cannot like consider it as a push button so it's a capacitive. So if you don't know whether it's push button or not, so you just put it like this, this symbol. Okay, so this symbol. Uh, so push button operated. Uh, so push button normally will have like this. Okay. So in fluid sim, maybe you cannot find the symbol. Uh, but how you can set this? Uh, you just choose the valve. Then you right click, go to its properties, then you can change this, how you want to activate. Whether you want to use manual, so inside there, you can choose push button. This, I think during the lab, I will show how, how to do that. Okay, so lever operated. Okay, so lever bukan ati ya. Bukan, bukan your dead lever. So lever meaning tuas. Okay, something that you can pull. Macam dekat station kereta tapi I, I don't know whether you all see that or not I think the old time So kereta tapi you kena tarik To change direction Okay similar So end lever End lever meaning you Macam gear lah So gear pun end lever kan uh, So similar So it will be like this So this symbol So something for you to pull Okay so foot pedal uh, Any foot pedal Macam dalam kereta to use foot to control. So all these are operated by the operators. So which is you. Okay, in the industry. Okay, so this is a example of figure. Okay, so then we have mechanical. So mechanical is normally we will use for uh, like spring return. So once you push the button, so it's already enter. If you have spring return, uh, like this symbol at the back. Okay, so normally dia macam ni lah. Okay. okay, so here you left push button. Here you left spring. Okay, so when you push this, it will switch. Then when you release the push button, it will return because of the spring. Ah, So kalau you tak letak spring... So, the sini, you look at another push button. So, you press this, it will be here. Once you press this, then only it will switch back. Ah, so, it's like that. Normally, kita tak encourage macam ni lah. So, we will normally will have a spring for it to return. Okay. So, unless uh, this is uh, something uh, to do with uh, pneumatic, pneumatically activated. So, kalau pneumatic... So this this thing will be oh, sorry. Okay. 
So if pneumatic, it will be like this. Ah. So it's from another valve. Okay, so you have uh, so many options. Okay, so this is a mechanical spring return. So spring centered, both side having springs. And then you have a roller operated. So roller, uh, like sensor. Uh, so I think you, if the thing touch, if the cylinder or what, uh, extend and touch the roller, uh, then it will activate. Uh, so uh, it's uh, normally for the application where uh, once the cylinder extends, uh, hit the roller, then another circuit will activate. Uh, so it's like a uh, sequence. Uh, sequence, you boleh gunakan roller. Then uh, you have a idler roller. Uh, so meaning uh, the roller in one direction, the other function dia sendiri. Uh, so it's only from one direction. And then uh, this is pneumatic. So pneumatically actuated. So valve is actuated by compressed air, which acts uh, move the wind channel. Uh, so any based on the other valve lah. Uh, they are the symbol macam ni Yang I tulis uh, the case. Uh, So yang ni direct Yang ni indirect Indirect maksudnya Dia lalu another process Before reach the valve okay, In between ada something else Okay And then electrically also You, you will control uh, Yang ni yang electronymatic So which you will study in chapter Chapter 6 uh, Satu chapter je Tapi ada satu lab so electron pneumatic will be a bit fun lah. So you all learn PLC. Ah, so you gonna have PLC to control. PLC to control your pneumatic circuit. Hmm. So you program your pneum, pneum, uh, PLC. PLC okay tak? Ah, siapa aja? Chani. Oh, Chani okay. Ah, so in Chani suppose you all understand lah. So dia memang Ketua technical dekat FTK So suppose dia tahu lah kan uh, So kalau ada lecturer yang tak tahu tu I tak tahu uh, Sorry off record lah Okay so So you have a single solenoid Or double solenoid Both side uh, And you can have a combine So combine dia macam ada banyak Banyak way lah uh, For for you to operate So normally the actuator It all, it all will come together Okay, semua so kena ada. So when you have everything, baru your valve will operate as how you want. So kalau tak, dia takkan follow your instruction lah. Uh, kan? So jangan macam you want it to operate based on push button input, tapi you letak foot pedal. Uh, so memang it won't fit the purpose lah. Uh, because it won't follow your application. Okay, so this is a direct method. Okay, so direct method, uh, this is your ro roller. Uh, you letak dekat roller. I think that's why you tengok dekat sini kan. Switch. So switch with uh, roller. Okay, so this is uh, we consider as a indirect. So uh, uh, actuator ataupun cylinder, piston dia extend. Dia kena baru dia on. Kalau tak, dia tak on. Uh, yang ni dia direct terus. Uh, dia, dia bagi uh, pressure input uh, dekat port 12. Uh, so for the blast compressor enters it is straight away it on the valve so we consider it as a direct method okay so uh, these are the other stuff lah so other other things uh, for much yeah uh, yani adalah 5 over 2 okay 5 over 2 so more complex lah so yani more simpler but this is more complex okay and this is uh, on the combine yang ni dia tak nampak sangat lah dia sebab dia tak gunakan simbol okay but uh, this I think uh, you are using electronymatic sebab ada voltage okay so you can have combine so the idea for you to understand so you can have a single actuated ataupun you can have com combination okay so at the end you just want it to uh, solve your problem, okay, settle your circuit, settle your application at a given cost. Okay, cost, cost is related. 
Sebab setiap benda, setiap wolf yang you nak beli tu uh, is costly. Okay, it's not cheap. Okay, so in the industry, whether the company want to invest in the system you propose or not. Okay, so you you kena tahu how to balance. Okay, so D, based on construction, uh, ini poppet valve dengan slide valve yang kita tengok tadi. Okay, ball seat valve and this seat valve. Ya, ini construction lah. Macam mana dalam valve tu dia constructed. Mekanism dalam tu. Okay, how it function. So, selalunya kita akan ada ball seat valve atau this seat valve. Uh, uh, longit longitudinal slide valve ataupun spool valve or rotary valve. So, we will see one by one. Uh, so, yang ni adalah uh, So, this is a proper direction valve. Yang ni macam push button. Yang push button, dia ada macam ball dalam ni. Uh, to alang. Uh, so, kalau you tekan. So, uh, compressor enters through port A. Uh, sorry, enters through port P. And go to port A. So, port A is your working port. So, meaning you you connect to your actuators over. So, pressure is entering through port P. Okay, kalau you tekan push button ni, apa akan berlaku? So what will happen? So you have a ball here to uh, to prevent the pressure to go to port A. If you push the push button, what will happen? So it will go down. Okay, it will go down. So this ball akan pergi ke bawah. So the pressure can go to port A. But you lepas lepas yang ni, what will happen? Dia akan naik atas balik sebab ada spring. So itu yang I explained tadi. Ada spring return. Ah, so so that's how lah the the thing is is connected. So the symbol is like this: push button, tapi dekat belakang tak ada spring lah. Ah, suppose ada spring dekat belakang ni. Okay, so this is using ah uh, two over two over two. This is using three over two. Okay, so ah, uh, ni dia ada more function lah. So ada tiga port kan. Okay, so ah, so boleh tengok dekat sini. So when you apply force, uh, the ball here will move. Ah, uh, dekat sini, so it move from P to A. So when you apply force, ah, uh, so A to tang, ah, uh, tang lah. Okay, so ah, uh, sama lah. Yang ni pun ada. So we have. Uh, the valley and also uh, the the main body. Uh, so waktu dia bergerak tu dia in between dia ada uh, some 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 kind like a alangan kan. So obstruction. So it only can move in the limited space given. So when it move, it will either block one side and open the other side, or it will do vice versa. Okay, so this is on the slide direction control valve. So mechanism can be puppet or it can be uh, slide. Okay, slide dia macam ni lah. Uh, so it has, dia ada satu term yang dipanggil uh, lens and valley. Okay, tanah dan lembah. Okay, so tapi tak adalah macam tu. So we just follow in English. So I don't know, it's not a name by me. So it's follow internationally, so we just follow. Okay, lens and valley. So lens maksudnya yang besar. Valley adalah yang macam lead. Okay, like the neck. Okay, the smaller. Okay, normally the compressed air will uh, follow the valley. So lens normally will be used to block. Okay, so open one and close one. So uh, depends on your direction. Okay, so in the in the test, if I ask what is land, what is valley, so you don't explain based on geography. So I explain based on pneumatic. Okay, so kalau <laughs> based on geography, I bagi kosong terus. So, sorry, not kosong, negative marks. So, I potong. So kalau test, assignment punya mark pun I potong. Ha, ya. Janganlah macam tu kan. Okay, so I explain. So land seals the valve, valve ball. Uh, bore ni adalah uh, laluan dia lah. Okay, so it seals. So when it seals, it will not allow the compressor to enter. 
Okay, and valley connects the valve port. Yeah, sebab valley dia benarkan uh, pengaliran kompresor. Okay, so okay, so uh, multiple ah, uh, so it can uh, be used for multiple application range. Okay, so you can see on one more thing, you have a disc sealer, yang warna merah ni. Okay, you can see right, warna merah. So, what's the function of a disc sealer? They actually macam getah. Okay, so you want to ensure that the compressed air is not escape, escaping through small manufacturing defect or what. Uh, so we always will have this red color this sealer in between the line okay so uh, to prevent it from escaping okay yani kalau dia yani kita panggil as dynamic seal sebab dia attach to the spool kan yang bergerak dynamic maksudnya bergerak kan okay then you have other type garland uh, planless planless type so and also static seal type uh, which attach to the body uh, not attach to the spool yang bergerak ok so you can see here so spool valve uh, so the construction the, the symbol as well as the uh, construction ni sama lah actually yang ni tak ada simulation so you can see from here uh, yang ni Port mana yang connected? So based on this, which port is connected? So, you have the number the case ni, one two three four five. So which one is connected? Semua macam lock kan? Port one di tabli escape, port two pun tabli escape. Sebab the line is uh, connected to the ball, and you have a sealer. Okay, this sealer. Sebab tu yang ni normally close, close center. Sebab semua pun close. Ha, tapi yang ni, you tengok kalau dia you bergerak ke dari kiri, so you bagi input, dia bergerak ke kanan. Okay, so which port is connected? Okay, 5 is not connected. Ha, 1 and 4 connected. Ha, then 2 and 3. Uh, so you, I need to follow this you can see 2 and 3 connected so you follow the arrow ok dari 2 ke 3 so it can be from 3 to 2 kan uh, so you want to see direction of the compressor you can refer the, the symbol so it's moving from 2 to 3 follow the direction of the arrow ok dari 2 ke 3 so meaning it's moving from 2 to 3 and this is from 1 to 4. Kan? Dari, dari uh, arrow dia start dari sini ke 4. 1 ke 4. So, it's moving from 1 to 4. Uh, 5 is not connected. Sebab itu dia, dia cuma ada T dekat sini. No connection. Uh, so, yang ni, dia, kalau you push dari bahagian uh, kanan, so you move to the left, so it will choose this. Dia macam tu. Okay. So ada solan. Okay. So yang ni yang bagian kanan lah. Kita boleh tengok. 1 is connected to 2. And 4 is connected to 5. So 1 is connected to 2. And 4 to 5. Uh, port 3 is blocked. So yang ni dia jadi T. So it depends. You ada dua situ, uh, dua uh, initial position for you to decide. Okay, so this is more on the linear side. Okay, so this is on the rotary side. Uh, so you boleh ada dua jenis. So one is on the linear side, one more on the rotary side. Okay, rotary maksudnya berputar. So you have uh, actuation macam ni and lever. So you tarik, so you buka the uh, how to say the wall uh, so uh, dia dalam ni dia ada connection macam ni lah uh, so from port A connected to port B uh, so dia follow yang ni 
so in uh, kalau dikatanya dia block all the ports are block so uh, yang ni for bahagian kanan okay so you can see from port p is going to port b uh, port a is not connected port t is not connected uh, yang ni dia symbol hydraulic kan okay. so kalau pneumatic dia kita macam ni exhaust Uh, ini adalah simbol exhaust untuk ataupun tank. Uh, dia bukan exhaust lah. Dalam hidrolik kita panggil tank. T. Uh, tapi dia guna yang ni lah. Sebab tu, it's actually the symbols will be the same except this uh, entry and also exit. Uh, so based on that, we know it's hydraulic or pneumatic. Okay, so rotary valve, you can see uh, dalam rotary valve pun dia ada macam tadi. So, close center. So, all the centers are closed. Uh, this is tandem type center. Uh, this is open type. Open meaning always have connection. Uh, so, then you have a vented center. Okay, so example of directional control valve, how you can name it. Uh, so I think uh, we are moving to the last slide lah. Yeah, this is the last slide. Okay, so I think this one you need to know. Yeah, ni you kena tahu. Uh, sebab always akan ada soalan. Soalan one mark. Depends on the valve uh, complexity lah. So if it's very complex, then you want to name it, maybe I bagi dua markah for one symbol. Uh, yeah, ni macam mark markah buta-buta je. Just to help you all. Tapi you, you all kena tahu lah. Kan? Ha, so, saya bagi simbol macam ni, awak boleh nak bagi nama tak? Ha, sekarang boleh bagilah sebab saya bagi dekat sini kan. Ha, so, kalau saya tutup. Ha, so, boleh tengok. Yang ni ada berapa position? Okay, so, three position. Eh, three position ke? Dua kan? Dua kotak. Port ada berapa? Ha, port ada tiga. One, two and three. So, normally open ke normally close? So normally close sebab uh, yang ni port 1 dekat mana? Uh, port 1 dekat dekat sini kan? So, dia macam tak clear lah. Okay so port 1 dekat sini, port 2 dekat sini, port 3. Port 1 selanjutnya the pressure port. Okay so pressure port is not connected in the normal position. So meaning it's a normally close. Uh, so kalau... Uh, um, Tadi tadi contoh lain, uh, I cuba cari lah. Uh. Ah, so kalau you tengok dekat sini, so this is your normal position, tapi port satu connected to port 2. so this is normally open or normally close. So normally open sebab uh, unactuated pun connection dah ada. Uh, so yang ni contoh lah. Okay so I go back. Uh, so yang ni adalah normally close sebab tu dia tulis dekat sini. Uh, so DCV adalah directional control valve. So short form for that. So normally close. Single pneumatically operated. Sebab one side je you bagi uh, actuation pneumatic. Okay, so you boleh tulis single pneumatically operated spring return. Uh, so you normally kena bagi tahu uh, berapa port, uh, berapa position, so what type of uh, valve, directional control valve. Okay, kemudian uh, how you want to actuate, how you want to return. So lima benda ni. Uh, kalau you nak namakan dia. Okay, so we move to the second one. Uh, second one, you tengok dia ada dua. So it's a combinational. Okay, so you tengok dulu ada berapa port? 5. 5 port. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Berapa position? 2. 2, 2 kotak. So, 5 over 2. So, this is a directional control valve. Okay, double pneumatically operated. Uh, sebab ada dua arrow yang masuk. So, double pneumatically operated. Uh, ini manual override. Uh, override maksudnya... Uh, you you control how it return. Okay, sebab, sebab itu you letak macam ni. So, it's not specified. Sebab itu touch screen ke, you tekan touch screen, dia return ke. Uh, so,
So kalau you ada simbol macam ni, uh, you letaklah manual override. Okay, so it's another name lah. Okay, so you tengok yang ni. Uh, how many port? So ada four port. A, B, P and T. Uh, so kadang-kadang I bagi simbol, I cakap, I tanya. So name all the ports. Okay, apa nama dia? Okay, A, B, P and T. Kan? So what, uh, maybe I akan tanya, maybe dalam quiz kan? So dalam game kan? So what is P in uh, port? Pressure. Uh, T is tank. Uh, so A and B is the working port A, working port B. Okay, so selalunya yang ni dia connected to your, the next valve ataupun actuator. A and B. Okay, so yang ni nama dia, so for berapa position? Tiga position sebab ada tiga kotak Okay so it's a directional control valve uh, So you tengok uh, You tengok dia punya uh, Apa normal position So it's a Close center Sebab so all the ports are disconnected No no connection So close Close dalam pneumatic Meaning no connection Okay so Close center uh, So double solenoid Yang ni adalah solenoid Electrically actuated Okay, solenoid ha, Sebab nanti you gunakan uh, Electro pneumatic So you always will use the solenoid Okay, solenoid So double solenoid Sebab both side ada uh, Solenoid Double solenoid operated uh, Spring centered Sebab both side ada spring Kalau one side You boleh letak spring return Okay, kalau both side You letak spring centered Okay, so ada apa soalan? Any any question? So we finish early. Okay, so I think ada lagi dalam 30 slide, I akan bagi video. Video at puzzle. Okay, so I akan bagi, I akan fit few questions dalam tu. Okay, selalunya I think you all familiar with my discussion uh, with at puzzle. So you dengar dalam tu, I akan letak 5 to 6 question. So you just listen. I think the the following pun the other types of valve. So tadi kita tengok directional control valve. You ada non return valve, ada uh, ada uh, end valve, ada okay ada a flow control valve, uh, pressure control valve. Uh, the few example. Uh, I always encourage you to design this using your fluid sink. Try yourself. Uh, Even though lab kita tak buat lagi So try lah No I'm trying kan So software pun free Bukan you bayar kan uh, uh, So you just try this Try to run this Okay uh, Yang ni pun boleh uh, Yang ni I think already give the answer uh, So uh, The shut off valve Combination valve uh, Time delay you selalu akan guna Okay time delay valve So if you are, your circuit requires time Okay Tapi yang ni tak apalah So because you just learn the theory So nanti waktu discussion pun I akan explain So that's why uh, We we have a blended learning So meaning we have online and also uh, face to face So Thursday kita akan belajar face to face So kalau you tak ta Dengar the AdPuzzle video And you don't participate in the discussion You takkan faham apa yang saya akan ajar next week Macam itulah pelajar akan lost Okay, hari ni Nampak macam faham I tengok attendance pun okay ha, Kalau you tak ada lepas ni I tahulah oh, okay You didn't follow my video Okay, so Dekat, dekat hostel bukan you buat apa kan They Mostly you just duduk uh, Main game Layan uh, uh, Apa? Drama Korea Kan? I pun, I pun tengok juga Netflix <laughs> Tapi ada ada time So we manage So you all You all know most school student Kan So you all already uh, Already adult So we consider you as adult You manage your time Okay you manage your time So dengar I think my video is only 30 minutes So 30 minutes So you get an understanding I bagi video dalam YouTube As well as at Pfizer Uh, so, kalau at puzzle, you start dekat satu tempat, you cannot like move forward kan? 
So you go and listen back to my YouTube video. Uh, so you dapat the understanding. So when you come for discussion, you already know what I'm going to discuss. Uh, so you will understand better. So the purpose of discussion is to enhance your knowledge. Uh, so once kita, the, I purposely ask one hour slot on Wednesday. So that before two hours class, we already settle the discussion. And when you come for Thursday class, you will have uh, the full understanding of chapter 2. Because next week Thursday, kita dah masuk chapter 3 dah. Kan? Uh, so chapter 3 already actuated. Uh, so kalau you ta understand the other stuff that we are not covering here, uh, so you will never understand at all after that. Okay? So I always encourage just follow lah. Follow whatever. So don't skip. Okay, don't skip. Because we're already well planned. Okay, well planned. Teaching plan pun I dah bagi dah. Okay, just follow je. Okay, so ada 15 minit. So any question? So on uh, today's lecture or the previous lectures? Tak ada? Okay, so if no, I just check back attendance. Uh, Moemi dia COVID, yeah? Oh, sebab I tak dapat any MC. Okay, so if you cannot come to any class or what, uh, so please inform me. So inform me so that sebab dia tiga kali tak ada, you cannot take final. Ah, so tiga kali tak ada, you cannot take final. So kita akan issue surat amaran. So jangan sampai surat amaran, uh, dia akan pergi ke RPS. Uh, so RPS akan bagi lecture. Uh, then akan go to your parents. Uh, so parents tu yang kita nak tanah lah Tak ta, ta shock kan So we deal cara adult So I layan you as adult So you also uh, Layan as adult So we don't want Bukan budak kecil kan Go to parents uh, So I, I As much as so I think today's attendance is very good So I, I also like happy lah uh, kan? So I selalu akan panggil nama I takkan bagi attendance Ataupun kita takkan buat virtual Okay, so please when you come, scan my sujatra. Tak tahu ada ke mana, I pun tak scan lagi. So nanti I scan lah. Okay. So first first day kan, first day tak apalah ada, ada some time for error. But always scan. Sebab so, we don't know when the inspectors will come. Uh, so I I dengar maybe suddenly they can come. You'll check your my sujatra all kan. Uh, tak tahu lah ada saman ke tak. Uh, okay. So I think uh, you can off the video. Okay, so with that, uh, the 10 minutes, you all can rest before the next lecture. So I need to wait for Puan Ratun also. Okay, thank you. So we will meet uh, next. Okay, next week at the lab. Eh? So young morning before 10 o'clock.